Okay, so just little little things like that, which would require, um, you know, an extra bit of interdependence. For instance, just a simple thing like this. So you literally have to practice going. So if you're going to play a, a beat like this, if you just simply started with your left hand, you could play the exact same thing. But for interests of being fluid on the drum kit as a right-handed drummer, you don't really want to do that lead with your left hand. Because then you're, you're tied up on the hi-hat and trying to start your next roll with your left hand, you're going to do that kind of thing. So that's why a lot of drummers use their left hand on the hi-hat so that they can, if it's an offbeat hi-hat, then they play it with their left hand because it's just naturally offbeat. Well, hopefully that's a little beginner on my views on interdependence on the drum set. Um, I can think of a million examples of where you would use it. Um, and hopefully just try and get those six different relationships sorted out and you'll be able to play pretty much whatever you want to play at a medium tempo if you practice it like that and then eventually you can bring it up so you know something that sounds relatively easy at a low tempo when you bring it up Or sound smooth when you play it quickly so that's all i have to say about interdependence and uh i hopefully helped you out a little bit to get started on how you can straighten things out with that so bye bye <laughs>